What's up? What to do, family? It's your girl, Tracy. I'm back with my first fucking vlog. You hear me? First vlog. It's not really a vlog because motherfucker ain't taking y'all on my date because I ain't got time for that shit. <sighs> y'all see the hair? Who that? Who this? Y'all already know. I be switching my hair up on y'all motherfuckers every time. But today we're going to call today Funday Sunday Story Time. If you know your girl, first off, let me take a sip. No, you don't. No, you don't. If you know your girl, if you follow me on Facebook, social media, if you don't, where the fuck you been, you need to go ahead and do that. I'm going to leave my shit down below. Uh, I'm really feeling this messy hair thing. Y'all feel me? Oh, y'all want to see the outfit? Let me show outfit. Outfit check. Look, hella sloppy on my workstation. But anyway, as y'all see about my title, I'm going to go ahead and open up about my relationship if y'all follow me on uh face in any of my social media platform y'all see like over a month ago um i filed for divorce from my husband because baby that motherfucker got caught up you feel me so let me tell you a lot of motherfuckers on here gonna sit up there and say why is she telling her business why is she doing that why is she doing it because i want to this is what i signed up for you feel me y'all gonna see my ups y'all gonna see my downs y'all gonna see my highs y'all gonna see my lows y'all gonna see me happy y'all gonna see me sad y'all gonna see me mad and guess what this is my choice if you don't like it you can keep going you ain't gotta hit like subscribe or you ain't got a motherfucking comment for that matter this is what i signed up for and when you two pick a girl up i'm gonna get y'all my all so okay so one morning you feel me okay so you know i ain't gonna say my husband's name i ain't gonna do none of that you know what i'm saying i ain't saying nobody names on here you feel me because you know i ain't got time for that shit but one morning you know what i'm saying i got up declined that call i got up and um i was getting my stuff together and then he had his phone charging on a chair you feel me so i sat down put on my shoe i'm not the type of bitch that go through somebody's phone period because i always told my i always was told you go through a motherfucking phone and you find something you better be ready to leave if you ain't ready to leave don't go to a, a motherfucking phone and that's on period you feel me okay i just need to let y'all know that put y'all on a little bit game come on pillow stay stay with me stay with me stay with me all right so his phone was going off and shit right so you know what I'm saying? I'm like, who the fuck? It's, it's early as hell. So I pick up the phone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here go a bitch. You know what I'm saying? So now I have evidence to go through this motherfucker phone. You feel me? So I go through his little Facebook account. My spouse, is, he loves attention. You feel me? He loves attention. And motherfucker need to fix that shit. Because I ain't got time for that shit. Period. Okay, okay. Focus. So, you know what I'm saying? I go through his phone, whatever. He calling bitches sexy, cute, this, that, and the third. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? We don't do shit like that. So, it was this one bitch in particular. He was having conversations with her, whatever. And she was like, they was talking for a while. You know what I mean? Like, having whole conversations for a while, whatever. So, I messaged this bitch and I'm like, you know what I'm saying? This is why. Let's go ahead and FaceTime. You know what I'm saying? Talk to me. Let's FaceTime. You see? But I'm not the type of chick that go after the female. It's females out there that go after females. You go after females. You go after the niggas. You hear me? You go, you go out to their ass. But his ass sleeping out silent, you know what I'm saying? I started thinking about my Cardi B. I went through your phone last night. Saw some things I didn't like. But you know what I'm saying? I let the motherfucker sleep because I have my kids here. You feel me? So I wanted to wait till they go to school because if your, if your girl about to go ham, about to go crazy, my kids can't be around. They can't see their mama about to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway. So, Called the chick finally called. I, I, I did. I, I post some shit on his Facebook page and I tagged every female that I saw. I said, Hey, this is wife. You know what I mean? Go ahead and find your name. Let me tell y'all his little business. And I'm not the type to put my shit out there on social media, but at this time I was hella pissed off. You feel me? I was hella pissed off. So, called the chick. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, call. Oh, the chick finally woke up and called me back. What the fuck? Okay. The chick finally woke up, called me back, whatever, trying to be all apologetic and shit. Talking about something. Me and him, we never had the whoop de whoop. We never, you know, I can't say certain stuff on here because if a kid come across my channel, I don't want the parents to be getting mad at me. But they never, and he said they never. But my thing is, baby, why are you talking to him? You know you he married because you mentioned his wife. You're like, if your wife's stressing you out, don't take that out on me. So what you trying to do? Now I'm mad at you because you knew about me. Now, if you didn't know about me, girl, I'm telling you, you better run. You better run. What can Michelle say? You can't raise a man. Run. But you knew about me. So, and she was like, that was the fact that I didn't move forward with him because I knew about you this, that, and the third. And then he wanted to tell me he's telling this bitch a pipe dream. You know what I'm saying? He was just playing with her head. He ain't doing nothing to it. He wasn't playing on doing nothing for her, this, that, and the third. But fuck, at this point, I didn't want, I didn't hear that shit. So when I drop my kids off, I hope y'all keeping up with me because I do talk this fast. Like I do with my voiceover. So please know that it is what it is. 
So I woke the motherfucker up. I said, uh, sir, get the fuck out of my house. Who is blue, blue, blue? I said her name. And he was like, what? <laughs> Pause. My nigga, don't play stupid. And I said that. Don't play stupid. Get the fuck up and get the fuck out. So your girl calmly went downstairs knowing my heart was like, <laughs> Because I'm, I'm heated at this point. I wanted to stab him at this point. But your girl can't go to jail. So, made me a pot of coffee. He came. He packed his shit up. Whatever. And then, you know, before he left, I was like, Till, whoop, whoop. I said, hi. And he was like, I ain't back. So, he kept packing, packing his stuff. Y'all already know. <laughs> Ladies, y'all know at that time, I wanted to motherfucker chop, chop his little whoop, 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 whoop. But... He went, he went to go move in with his mama. Of course, I knew that was what the fuck he was going to go to. So, he went to go move in with his mama, whatever. So, motherfucker found him divorce paper real quick. You feel me? I'm going to show you. A man always think a woman needs them financially to survive. No, baby. No, baby. I do not. I do not. I will always protect me and mine. And ladies, you protect you and yours. Fellas, you protect you and yours. You feel me? This is not a fellas bashing video. This is me telling my motherfucking story this Sunday because that's what the fuck I want to do. So... I found a divorce, whatever, and I gave him the motherfucking papers. You hear me? Motherfucking papers then. Of course, a man do what they man do. He got in his feelings, and now he trying to hit me on whatever. I'm going to call the cops on you. I'm going to call the feds on you. I'm going to do this and do that. What? My dude, I know you're pissed off because you're making no sense. Okay. So, he will, you know what I'm saying? We got a son together. You feel me? So, you know, we had a verbal understanding of how much you're going to give me for your son because you're going to take care of these responsibilities, sir. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. And then all of a sudden, the motherfucker got his feelings and took the words back and was like, I'm not giving you shit. I'm not giving you shit. So, you know what your girl did? I found them child support papers. Yes, I did. And then the motherfuckers moved quick. Child support wasn't playing no games. They told me 30 days. So I got motherfucking paperwork where I signed it, everything in the mail within a week. So, just hit him with that. Boom, boom. I'm not playing with you. So, he knows shit getting real. He know shit getting real. So, he he calls me apologizing and shit. When all the motherfucker had to do real talk was talk to me. Talk to your girl. You feel me? Apologize to me. Tell me what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because marriage is not easy. I know this. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has temptations. I have temptations. He has temptations. It's just it is what it is. We're human. But I don't act on my temptations because that's, just, that's not who I am. You feel me? So, <clears throat> excuse me, just had a cough because you got, you know, let me take a sip here. Y'all see, y'all saw this juice conversation. It's one o'clock here. I'm allowed to have me a little swig. So, you know what I'm saying? Over, over me calming down and getting my shit together, you know what I'm saying? I had to... I had to realize, like, I, I'm, I'm acting off my emotions at the same motherfucking time. I, uh, Mary Mary, the sister Mary Mary, the gospel singer, her husband cheated on her, right? And she had this little outburst about it, but he actually had intercourse. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't called him yet. You know what I'm saying? That's the part that's still, like, whoop, up in my head, but whatever. And she made it say, either this is a good man that did something bad, or this is a bad man that's not meant to have you. I know he's a great father. I know he's a good person. I know this. But I also know I'm not a bitch that would take some shit, and I'm not a bitch that's going to keep getting fucking fucked over. You feel me? You feel me? So I had to make the conscious decision for myself. Is this a man that I'm willing to throw away right now? Or is what it what it is? Because here's the thing. The difference is, if I find out to this day that he whoop, whoop, he gots to go, and I'm never going to turn back. But it's still, it, it, it never went as far as the conversation. However, ladies, we know we cheat mentally. If you having a conversation with another woman, and you giving her time as in mentally and verbally, you know what I'm saying? The other chick could be like, oh, he's in love. But she was talking hella shit. She was like, I don't even like that motherfucker. He's stupid. Blah, blah, blah. Bitch, if you don't like him, or what the fuck, you wouldn't be entertaining this motherfucker. First off, and if you knew about me, which you do, you shouldn't even be answering that motherfucker phone. Okay, so... What I decided to do, me, your girl, because I do what the fuck I want to do because it's my life, period. I decided to let him back in. He sleeps in the downstairs bedroom. He still do. You know what I'm saying? It's been over a month. Motherfucking man down there. You got to earn You gotta earn some shit. I did withdraw my divorce papers because y'all got time frame to do so in order for the uh, divorce to be valid. But it's not valid because I had to withdraw it. My lawyer had to do her little due diligence and send me over the paperwork to show that legally I did go ahead and withdraw it. And the, the judge that signed on the original one, she signed on this one. She's totally okay. You know, not okay with it, whatever. I don't know that bitch personally. But anyway. So, I decided for my sake to go ahead and get this motherfucker one last try. Only because I didn't find out that he, whoop, whoop, anybody, whatever. It was like more of a conversational base. You feel me? 
And he know I'm putting this motherfucking video out there. You know what I'm saying? Because the thing is, any woman out there that's married, I am not giving advice for non-married people because if you ain't married to a motherfucker, you can leave his ass real quick. Throw that motherfucker away. <laughs> Bye. Get your shit and get the fuck out. But if you are married and he's not whooping your ass or he's not like going around there sharing the, the woo -woo with everybody you know what i'm saying and if you want to give your spouse another chance or whatever that's your fucking decision don't care about what your family say don't give a fuck about what nobody say because ain't nobody living your life you feel me shit could be toxic you know what i'm saying but it's all based on how you feel how you can handle some shit you feel me marriage is a motherfucker so if you ain't married baby don't think about getting married okay you know what? let me take that back you could think about getting married but that's totally up to you you know what i'm saying to each his own you feel me girl i'm giving you vibes here look at that look at that <laughs> not the bang yang. okay let me say focus so i decided to do what i wanted to do you know what i'm saying do i regret the steps i made like putting certain shit on social media absolutely not because it's people women men out there going through the same shit that i personally went through you know what I'm saying? But it's my choice what I want to do with it, what I want to do with it going forward. So I decided to do what I want to do and I'm going to live my motherfucking life. You feel me? That's what you're going to get from this channel. Period, point blank. I want y'all to know that. I will always be real with y'all. If that motherfucker pissed me off and I'm about to record, guess what? You motherfuckers going to know that he pissed me the fuck off and I'm going to tell you what the fuck I'm going to do. Because I don't keep my shit bottled in. You know what I'm saying? I can't do that. If y'all my family, y'all subscribe and y'all committing to me, I'm going to commit to y'all that's period i'm gonna commit to you guys as long as y'all commit to me you feel me i'm not asking for nothing more nothing less you, you see what i'm saying i'm gonna leave my email in the comments below i'm gonna not my phone number because i don't trust y'all motherfuckers i'm gonna leave my email below all my social medias below follow your girl support your girl i'm open honest with y'all you see what i'm saying i can be left i can be right y'all see me shit i be bald i be gray i be pink yellow purple whatever so I just wanted, I hope y'all kept up with my fast talking. I'm sorry. I know I need to slow some shit down, but I just can't because I be on 10 when I be coming to talk to y'all. You feel me? Like, huh. so I hope y'all enjoy my story time. I hope I help somebody out there that may be married, maybe together, maybe, you know, going through some shit and just trying to figure some shit out. Most people leave their spouse or most people leave the people that they want to be with because of the sake of others or how others may think or judge them. Don't you motherfuckers do that shit. You do it based off you and whoever don't support you two fingers up y'all know the thing i wanted to motherfucking use but i ain't gonna use it you do what the fuck you want to do people laughed at me when i started doing a youtube but look at me now motherfuckers are pick me up <laughs> he picked me up motherfucker ain't crying broke now you feel me you feel me you feel me so that is story time for your girl give this video 100 likes if you like story time if you like sunday story time i'll come back next sunday with a story because your girl got some shit to tell y'all about this youtube world everything about uh, these kids and these pets and shit going wrong and everything like that but everybody that reached out to me during my time i would like to thank y'all i'm not gonna name all y'all it was ashley rima it was tamika it was um all my people it was shanice it was oh fucking hell. it was all my facebook family y'all showed up showed out and made me feel extra love and let me know that everything will be okay so all my facebook family i love the shit out of y'all um thank you for coming and have your girl back even for those that knew him they still like you know what it's gonna be cool everything gonna be all right you know what i'm saying shit you know shit like this happen it's so hot my boobs sweating ain't nothing like no mussy titty ass bitch and i'm not that man to separate i just can't show y'all for the sake of youtube but <clears throat> yeah that's that's who i am oh my name is trees but i go by joyous trees for those who don't know me you So that's my story. Um, and I'm out.